Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another do it yourself for you guys. You guys seem to really enjoy do it yourself videos and I really, really enjoy making them. So today what I'm going to try to do is a Nike socks top. I love Nike and lately I've been seeing a whole lot of people doing stuff with Nike socks, which kind of makes sense because lately we've been hearing more and more about sustainability and how vintage clothing and reworked clothing can be so helpful. And that brings us to the Nike socks trend. I've been seeing it everywhere. People doing face masks, people doing the top that I'll try to do today, people doing shoes, people doing bags, with socks people are really being so creative which is so positive and gets me so inspired seeing other people being this creative so today I'm going to try to do a beautiful top with Nike socks I got this pack yesterday and this is a pack of three pairs so we are going to have six Nike socks to work with I think it's going to be enough and this costs about 10 euros and this is all the fabric we are going to need also I'm going to need of course my beautiful baby pink sewing machine but feel free to sew in by hand if you don't have a machine it's totally possible it's going to just take longer we are going to be using the white ones so I'm going to use the white thread but you can do with any socks that you want any color that you can find and we are going to need our friends the sewing pins and some scissors so without further ado let's jump into the days yourself so I'm gonna be using a top as our reference for the shape I always find it easier for do-it-yourselves to find a piece that is similar to what I want to do to work as a foundation so I'm gonna open the package so as I told you six socks we have here three pairs six socks I'm going to start by cutting the socks right here on the back part of the socks like this all the way down and here I'm going to cut it just one inch below where the rib ends and it leaves us with this piece of fabric with the two swooshes I'm gonna do that to all the socks and please keep this part because we can use it into little pieces of the top as well so we are going to work on this top kind of like a puzzle or a lego so the first thing we are going to do is to use two of the socks we already cut it and to sew this part right here and for that I can fold them like this and take this to the sewing machine and just sew it right here all the way I'm gonna use this stitch right now just to give it a better finish but if you don't have it maybe a zigzag will be enough so here goes nothing I just finished sewing as you can see this stitch gives it a better finish than just a regular stitch now I'm gonna do exactly the same piece as this one for the back so once again we have two pieces like this that we are going to sew together on the machine and this is going to be the back part okay so we have two parts exactly the same so one of them is going to be the back and the other is going to be the front so it creates like a tube top now the length of it is a little bit less than the top that I have as a reference so what I'm going to do is to use one of these socks the part that we left untouched and I'm going to open it here in the back like this and I'm gonna cut this part of the toes that we are not going to need and measure the length here and cut all the other part of the length that's a little bit longer now we are going to divide this and use half of it for the right side and half of it for the left side so you can just go and cut this off right in the center and this is the part that is going to unite our beautiful tube top and then the same thing on the other side Okay, so our tube top is ready. So now that we have this ready, I'm going to start working on the top part. And this will be the top center part. And this part is exactly the same, it's going to be for the back. Now we need to complete the sides here, which we are going to use this. We'll start removing the part of the toes and once again opening the socks here on the bottom part. 
So I'm going to divide here on the center once again, which leaves us with a part for here and a part for here. We are going to do this for the front and for the back and basically we are going to sew this together like we did on the bottom part. So let's bring this to the sewing machine. Okay, so these parts are sewed and our beautiful Nike sock top is coming together. So here we have the front top part and here we have the back top part, which is exactly the same. I'm just going to put it on the back. So basically the next stage is to sew the top part and the bottom part together. So I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and do a regular stitch over here just to connect everything. So we have everything stitched now, top and bottom, it's looking great. And now I'm going to just put it here to complete the final fabric part that we need, which is actually this part right here that's going to be on the shoulders. So for that you will only need one of these small socks. And once again let's cut the toes off and also do a straight cut in here. And basically this is going to work like this. And I'm actually going to leave this with double fabric like this because this way I don't need to do like a hem here. And I'm going to sew it like this, but I'm going to fold just a little bit here because this part of this sock right here doesn't have hems just like this one does. And just sew it over here. And also do the same thing for this part right here. So our top is mostly complete, which means it's wearable already and looks like a top. I'm very very proud of how it looks, I can't wait to style this. But the last last thing that I want to do is the finishing touches and hems. So basically I'm going to do a hem here on the bottom, all the way, all around. And here on the arms, this part is already trimmed because we used like a double fabric, but here I still need to do a little hem as well and also another finishing touch that I want to give is here when I sew the top to the bottom there's a little bit of fabric here so there's no cotton pieces coming off when you wear it so I want to do a little stitching so guys I just finished sewing everything like the final touches and it's ready finally ready i'm actually very proud of it so here it goes yeah, i'm so happy doesn't it look pretty i think it looks so cute i'm really proud of my sewing skills yeah it's definitely easier than i thought it's very easy to put the parts together and make some kind of logic on how you can build your top out of socks so i think it's a very easy do it yourself but i took less than two hours making this like one hour and something and it looks very cute so it's totally worth it and this cost 10 euros we only use the three pairs so it's definitely a cheap price for this beautiful top and all that's left for me to do is to try it on so let's jump into that so guys this is how it looks i'm so so happy with it it just looks so good on camera now one thing that i think can be better is this hem over here as you can see it's a little bit loose so what i'm going to do to fix this it's a very dramatic last minute decision of just piercing here two small holes and get a tiny elastic band over there so it can be a little bit more fitted gonna fix this really quick just pierce a tiny hole in here and now with the help of a safety pin i'm just going to put the elastic band all over this hem So the safety pin is already here, so let's pierce here the other side. And now we have the two tips here of the elastic band. Okay, now we can cut this, remove the safety pin, do a little tie here in the ends. So now I can do a little bow here. And it even adds up to the sporty vibe, so I'm definitely not mad at it. I'm just so, so happy with it now. So I'm gonna record some footage of me just wearing it, I guess.
so guys that was it i'm very very pleased with this do it yourself i hope you guys liked it don't forget if you guys recreate this you know my favorite thing ever is to see when you guys recreate my do it yourself so if you recreate this don't forget to tag me on your stories on your posts because i definitely want to see it you can follow me on instagram at iris love unicorns or tiktok at iris love unicorns either way i'm going to leave the links on the description and i guess that's it also don't forget to subscribe we are 60k now here subscribers i'm just so happy i i don't know i always get so happy when i see my youtube family growing so keep coming keep joining us bye guys love you